Remember me, though I have to say, I forgot the words. <laughs> hey guys, so today we are making a toy guitar inspired by Disney and Pixar's Coco. It's nominated for two Oscars, best animated feature and best original song for Remember Me. This entire video is going to contain spoilers. It came out four months ago, you guys. You've had plenty of time to watch it. If you haven't seen it yet and you don't want spoilers, click away. Click away! I loved this movie, so let's get started. So today we are making the toy version of Ernesto de la Cruz. Er, I can't do the pronunciation. Ernesto de la Cruz? Is that it? At Scrape This Cake, I'm using a very expensive cake pan. Only rich people can afford it, you guys. It's called the makeshift tin foil cake pan that I made from scratch. Never heard of it. It's probably because you're broke. Now this shape and size was much smaller than the cake pans that I had on hand, so I decided that I'd create my own. That way I wouldn't have to cut away as much excess cake. I just pulled away the tin foil, and I kind of really like this because the cleanup is so easy. After I just used my cake leveler, thank you Wiltons, and leveled off the top. And then I divided my cake into two equal layers. And if you're gonna recreate this cake, then you're going to need my printout, which is on the Facebook page, but I am gonna charge you for it. It's free 99. Oh, is that too much for you? It's probably cause you're broke. Now I'm gonna cut out the body of the guitar with my Swedish sidekick, my Ikea Paranath. I went to Ikea yesterday and I bought four more. These are like super expensive, you guys. It's like $1.50. Can't afford it. It's probably cause you're broke. I love the color of this cake. It's just a vanilla cake. And I used orange and yellow food coloring to get it the color of marigold flowers. If you wanna get specific about it, it's like a... Sizzling sunset. Oh, actually, it's like in between sizzling sunset and emergency zone and maybe like a little bit of bonfire light thrown in I guess these these cards are like my favorite thing in the entire world And they were so expensive you guys you can't afford it It's probably because you're broke. Marigolds are the flowers that they scatter around the town to help deceased family members find their way back home I have to be very careful with this because if I mess up some facts, my comment section is just gonna be on fire. I removed the top layer of cake and I just added some buttercream and smoothened it out with my offset spatula. And then on goes my second layer of cake. Isn't this color like so nice? It's so vibrant and bright. This cake's brighter than my whole future. <laughs> now I'm gonna give this baby a crumb coat and then place it into the fridge. Now while this cake was chilling in the fridge, I was Black Panther and chilling for like a good three hours. I've seen it three times. I love the entire cast, but we're gonna talk about Lupita Nyong'o. I think she's gorgeous. Lupita plays Nakia, who is the female ingenue of the movie. And you know, I've never seen a blockbuster where somebody who has such dark skin played that role. She wasn't even just the ingenue, she was strong and her strength didn't seem like it came from you know some sort of adversity. It was just that her strength came from the fact that she was strong. Does that make any sense? Even where my parents come from, people who have lighter skin tones are seen as being more beautiful. And I remember when we went to visit the islands, we were at like a department store and my aunt was pushing me to buy this soap that would lighten my skin because apparently I was too dark. I don't understand older generations, you guys. They're just stupid in some ways. If Lupita has this much of like an impact on me, I just, I can't imagine how much empowerment boys and girls around the world who look like her must feel. It's incredible. I love this movie. Go watch it. Let's get back to this bomb diggity cake. Now I covered my cake in my white fondant and I just used my hands and just started working my way around the cake. And I'm, I'm only giving this crumb coat because buttercream is super expensive and I know you guys are probably like in the comments right now like oh it's expensive it's probably because you're broke done right I'm broke student loans are no joke now I'm just using my fondant smoother and just making sure that the fondant is smooth all the way around the body of the guitar now, it was a little tricky getting the fondant into the waist of the guitar, but I just took my time around those areas. Once I was happy with it, I cut away the excess fondant with my X-Acto knife, but you can't even see it because I'm not cutting it where the camera is like an idiot. 
Is this your first YouTube video? Get out of here. Then I just started smoothing it down to the bottom. Now my favorite character in Coco was Pepita, the Chimera. I loved it. You know, the entire movie, I was just fascinated with the design of the character. All of the different little details, the wings, the horns, those big yellow eyes. That should be a cake. This guy should turn it into a cake. My skill set, not there yet. But this guy, he can do it. If you want to see another awesome cocoa cake, make sure you head over to the Bake King's channel. Because he made Miguel. First time I saw it, I couldn't believe it. Now after I was happy with my guitar, I placed it back into the fridge to chill. I just started to work on all of the other details. So I started with yellow fondant and I rolled this out like two hours before I started to cut each of the pieces. And that way I could get some really crisp details. And I created templates for each of the details. I placed them on top and just started cutting them out with my X-Acto knife. I wanted to do all of these decorations in yellow because I loved when Miguel strummed the guitar for the first time. It like glowed. And my favorite scene in the movie by far is that intimate moment where Miguel is just in his little like shrine for Ernesto de la Cruz. I love the way that the light of the television catches his eyes. There's just these beautiful shots of him strumming the guitar, listening to quotes from de la Cruz. The imagery in that scene is so arresting. Let's create some detail for the guitar. I'm using a fondant strip cutter so I can get some super straight lines. And then using my chef's knife, I'm just gonna cut this diagonally. I wanted the border of the guitar to be super straight, so I placed my template on top and I held them in place with some sewing pins. And I'm just gonna mark a border with my X-Acto knife. After that, my guitar was ready to be decorated. I just added all of these pieces with a little bit of magic sauce and I started to create a checkered pattern with the exterior border. This worked my way all the way around the guitar. Another thing that I loved about the movie was that bridge made of marigold petals. I would live on that bridge. That wide shot that they took where like people are just walking across a bridge, it's like, it's like this assault of color on your eyes. And when you're walking across the bridge, your shoes glow like you're wearing children's like light up LA gear shoes. And after I finished with the border, I started adding all of the decorations to the top of the guitar. Now the left side of the cake was easier to decorate than the right side because on the left side, I just placed all the ornaments where I wanted them. But then on the right side, I had to make sure that those ornaments mirrored the ones on the left. And that took a lot more time. After I finished adding all of the yellow decorations, I started to build the fake sound hole. I'm just layering three different colors of fondant. Then I added the pickups as well as the bridge. I know the terminology makes it look like I know what I'm talking about, but I just Googled an image of a guitar and I didn't even realize that I was making a toy guitar <laughs> until <laughs> I did the googling. <laughs> now these yellow decorations needed a little bit of paintwork because I wanted them to look like they were glowing. So using a paintbrush and some orange and brown food coloring, I just painted different parts of the decoration so I can give this sort of like a light and shadow effect. Now I'm gonna give this a little bit more detail and crank out some mustard yellow fondant. This is supposed to be like a gold, but it doesn't shimmer like gold. And I'm gonna apply this with a little bit of magic sauce just to the interior border of the guitar. I'm gonna extend the checkered border of the guitar all the way down the body of it. Slowly but surely, I made my way around the guitar and finished. When I was making the guitar neck, I didn't know how to make this stay straight. So I decided to take two skewers and just roll them into my white fondant. And this fondant has a whole bunch of CMC in it so that it gets rock hard. I placed my guitar neck template on top and just cut it out with an X-Acto knife. I did this probably like two days before, I think. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Using my templates, I created the head and the neck of the guitar and just glued them on with a little bit of magic sauce. Now the guitar head's modeled after a skull and there's a gold tooth. And I created that with a little bit of fondant. Then I gave him a nose, two eyes, and a black strip that I'm gonna decorate at the end. Now the neck of the guitar has this thing called the fretboard. I think. And first I took my paring knife and I measured out the distance between each of the frets 
and then I placed on the frets with some white fondant. There's no confidence in that sentence. <laughs> and I added a little bit more detail, and then I started on my guitar strings. Let's create these guitar strings. I used my fondant crank and cranked out very long strings of white fondant. I lined them up as straight as I could, and then just let them sit for a day. That way they wouldn't dip when I placed them onto the frets. And while they were setting up, I added some more detail to my guitar. Using black royal icing, I just created the intricate guitar details. My favorite song in the movie is Remember Me. That song hit my heart like a jackhammer. I downloaded the soundtrack before I saw the movie. When I was listening to Remember Me, I didn't equate any of the lyrics to meaning you know, the loss of a loved one. I just thought of it as like two people being separated by land or water or just distance. It wasn't until Miguel was singing the song to Mama Coco that I truly understood the meaning. And when he starts singing that song, I was just in my movie theater chair. This is my face like this. But then I was like crying, but I didn't want anyone to know I was crying. So I was just like, Keep very still, don't sniffle, don't move or else they're gonna know you're crying. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, I can't, they're just too, and that, that, uh, that scene is just heartfelt, heartbreaking, it's, uh. and I turned to the guy next to me and he wasn't crying, so I was like, I can't believe that I'm sitting next to this serial killer. How could you not cry in that scene? It was so powerful. And one of the things that makes me sad about being a first generation American is the idea of the ofrenda. Like in my parents' culture, we don't have an ofrenda. The closest thing we have is them remembering the family tree and not just their family tree, but the family tree of everyone on their island. Sometimes I feel so far removed from where they came from that if I were to create my own ofrenda, it wouldn't have as many people on it. So many of my relatives who have achieved great things would be forgotten. And that's really depressing. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Obama. Now, I don't want any of you to be forgotten, so I'm gonna take this picture of you and place it on my ofrenda. That way, we can live forever. Just drinking magic sauce all day and night, partying. Maybe you're like partying a little too hard and I have to hold your hair back while you're throwing up into the toilet. But I got you, homie, I got you. Now to add my guitar neck, I actually created a support made of CMC infused fondant and two dowels that I just plunged into the cake. And I wanna make sure that this holds, so I'm using white candy melts. So I'm adding in some melted white candy melts and just gluing it to the guitar body. Add some more candy melts on top and then glue on the rest of my guitar. I'm just gonna finish it off with some fondant marigold petals and voila! This toy version of Ernesto de la Cruz's guitar is complete. I feel so proud! I feel like a, I just delivered a baby except I didn't have to work as hard as all moms. I love the way this looks. I wish I made a real guitar. I wish I could tell the difference between a real guitar and a toy guitar. <laughs> Remember me Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. It's frozen so I can hold it upward, see? Look at that, it doesn't break. I could take a bite out of it too. This is one of the few times that I actually still have the cake because I just shot it. Oh, see it is real cake. You see that? So I'm curious, you just heard all of my thoughts about why I loved this guitar, why I loved Coco. So what did you think about the film? How did it make you feel? Let me know in the comments. On a side note, I really do want you to watch Black Panther. It makes me, it makes me hopeful that one day I'll see a superhero that looks like me on the big screen. But, you know, until that day, I'm gonna celebrate the glory that is Black Panther. And I wanna put my money where my mouth is, so I'm gonna do a giveaway. Now, if you haven't seen the movie and you wanna see it, comment Wakanda forever down below and I will choose two comments and send you two tickets each. This isn't sponsored, it's my money that I'm using even though I'm broke you guys. But I want to make sure that you know how much 
I love this movie. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all the things I'm currently working on in the community tab. And I just posted the picture of our Easter bunny. It needs a name and a story, you guys, so make sure you check that out and add your thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what I should make next, and I will see you very soon. Peace!